All right, tail of the tape, here we go. 11 centimeters in reach advantage going to Yako Honkasalo, as well as 11 centimeters in height. 28 years of age is Honkasalo, whereas Brian Aspergren, he is 23. So let's see how these boys stack up. Here, the last amateur fight of the evening at Cage 51. Introducing first, in the blue corner, fighter from Karina, Finland. He's 2016 MMA Championship bronze medalist. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu no Gi, European Championship bronze medalist, and four times Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu no Gi Finnish champion. He's standing 190 centimeters tall, weighing 92.5 kilos with an amateur record of four wins and two losses, representing Finn Fighters Gym from Karna, Jaco Honkasalo! Fighting out the red corner. He's 2020 MMA Finnish champion and representing Finland in the World Championships. He's representing Luke Martial Arts. Fighting out of Helsinki, standing 179 centimeters tall, weighing 92.2 kilos, with an amateur record of nine wins and four losses. Brian Aspergren! <laughs> Round one. This is the eighth match of the evening here tonight at Cage 51, meaning that this is the last amateur fight of the evening. Two more fights to go, which will be pro contests. So hang on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Nice body shot by Asper Grant. the 93 kilo weight class. Both fighters being very cautious, but now Honkasala goes for the takedown. Aggressive takedown. No second guessing there. This is not good for Aspect Red, because we know that Honkasala is a lot better on the ground. So Brian Aspergren, the Finnish amateur champion, gold medalist of 2020. Also representing the Finnish team in the World Championships. So he's no slouch. Definitely not a slouch. Considered to be a quote unquote sniper. What does that mean? Tell me. He has an excellent, excellent boxing. He, he likes to pick his shots and uh, he has quite a bit of power in his hands also. The 2016 World Amateur Champion bronze medalist is Jaco Honkasalo, though. And four Finnish championships in no-gi BJJ. Also the European gold medalist in no-gi BJJ. So he's also no slouch. Yeah, a lot of people expect a lot of what? from uh, Jaco Honkasalo, but he has not performed in these big occasions that well. But let's see if tonight is a different story. Well, he's a highly credited submission grappler, so let's see if that submission skill now plays into the, the outcome of this contest. As these two look to find a clear advantage, a true opening. On top is Jaco Honkasalo. And now raining down with the blows. Hammer, hammering down. Big aggressive shots by Yeah, Honkasalo. he went for broke, he went for broke, but no, says Brian Aspergren. Closing the, the guard. situation. Yeah, he was like, let's quiet this thing down. End of the first round. 
Good end of the round by Jaakko Honkasalo. Yeah. Looking good on the scorecards. Here we go. Diving for the leagues. Take down by Honkasalo on Aspergren. Once again, different angle. Here we go. Same deal. And now looking to rain down with fury. But Aspergren still too fresh. Able to sway and to withstand the storm. Almost by Pakistan, seconds out. Here we go, seconds out, heading into the second round. This, the last amateur contest here of this evening, before heading into the two last two pro boats. Let's go, round two, underway. Three minutes on the clock. Right away, Honkasala going for a takedown, but Aspergren looking to stand up, looking to stay up. Defense, defense. Yeah, Aspergren was going forward. Maybe a bit too much, and Hongosalo saw an opportunity to go for the takedown, but well defended by Aspergren. Ooh, nice hooks. But partially blocked, but nice left hand by Hongosalo, another one. Whoa. Three big left hands in a row. But Aspergren doesn't seem too faced. All right, here we go. Now looking for the next opening. Both men. Leaning against the man. Trying to hook. No. Looking for an opening. But now some 50-50 wrestling. Both fighters having one underhook and one overhook. Looking for a throw, but a takedown nonetheless. Beautiful chain wrestling by Honga, Honga Salo. Now on the side control of Brian Aspigren. Slowly trying to work his way in either to the mound or get the submission is Honga Salo. Trying to isolate the arm, going for the Kimura. Setting up the Kimura now. Putting some shoulder pressure on Aspigren. Trying to drive the knee into the ribs, but maybe didn't quite have the distance there to make any. Again, trapping the arm. Damage, yeah. but Asp Aspigren realizing the situation and defending well, trying to get up. Hongasala going for the guillotine. Wide base. I think Hongasalo needs to needs to stand up and put some powerful strikes. He doesn't have that head very well. He is he actually doesn't have the head at all. But now landed one. Nice knee to the body. Back up is Aspergren. Just over 20 seconds left the, on the clock here as these two. A nice knee to the body by Aspergren. As Honkasal gives one on his own. All right, we're closing in. End of the round coming up. Whoa, big right hand by Honkasal. Too little, too late. There's the bell. The horn, the bell, whichever you may. It looked like Aspergren was trying to get an uppercut. But Hongasala saw the situation and landed his own right, own right hook. Like the Iron Maiden song from 1990, hooks in you, hooks in me, hooks in the ceiling for that well-hung feeling. No big deal, no big sin. Got the hook screwed in. <laughs> what do you, how do you like what can I say to that? How do you like that for rap music? <laughs> There All were right. these three straight lefts by Hongasalo. Everyone landed flush, but uh, Aspergren recovered well. There was that high kick between them. Nice punch. 
But nonetheless, we'll be coming. We will be coming your way next on the 11th or the 28th of November. Mark it down to your calendars. Page 52. All right, let's get it on. And boom, right away, taking down Aspergren. Smart move by Honkasalo. Immediate takedown. Honkasalo is the definitive aggressor here in this match. Yeah, re realizing that he is a lot better than Aspergren on the ground. And I think he just wants the victory, of course. Even though both men rather stocky, you could say, or like well-muscled, heavily muscled, still it seems that uh, the definitive edge is going to Jaco Honkosalo in build. Yeah, Honkosalo is uh, more natural for this weight class, you can say. Yeah. Okay. Well put. Threatening with the guillotine. Oh, boy. Side of the cage. Yeah, just trying to be politi politically correct. Must you be? <laughs> you know, it's, the, it's the day and age we're living in. Then. I understand. You don't have to defend yourself, Alex. <laughs> Calm down. Hongasella threatening with the Kimura. All right, here we go. It's a bad spot for Aspect Ren. Leading in is Aspergren. Look at that, he's trying to pull that Kimura out. Trying his damnedest, but he can't quite get it. Aspergren looks like he's got his fingers, or a second ago he had his fingers locked there between, or behind uh, Honkasalo's thigh, but now breaking loose and trying to defend that guillotine as best he can. And now he does, he gets out. Against the side of the cage, Aspergren now having Honkasalo up. Well, Aspergren Asper Asper is strong. They're both strong, both these guys. Yeah, but if you look, like we said, if you look at how, how the men are built, you could say that uh, maybe Honkasalo is a bit stronger. But, yeah. But, but when you see them wrestle, you could say the other way around. Again, now Honkasalo going for the takedown, but Aspergren defending it well. Hitting some big shots. Oh, Honkasalo seems to be a bit desperate. And now Aspergren getting the takedown. we got a half a minute and counting. The round is coming to a close. I would have rather see Aspergren keeping this fight standing. I think uh, he would have had a lot more success there. None of those blows doing any damage there. We've got under 10 seconds. Honkasalo playing with the rubber guard. And there you go. Tell me something. Are those like pepper shots? Because those, are, I mean, you, there's really no force behind them. Just yeah, yeah. Pat, patting the man on the head. I mean, what, what does that do to your opponent? Yeah, you're just probably trying to distract the other one, trying to maybe work your way into a submission or something. But uh, yeah, definitely not trying to hurt with those punches. Is that even a punch? <laughs> Well, uh, I think uh, maybe we have to test. <laughs> you can ask uh, other. You can ask Brian or Jaka to punch you. All right, yeah, we can try. <laughs> I'll, I'll, with those punches, those guys. There, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what happens. I can be the referee. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Both yes. fighters confident that they have won the bout. Yeah, that's right. A full three rounds. Enjoying the moment. Tough fight. Very well fought. Yeah, what can you expect when a Finnish champion against a world bronze medalist? Yep, that's it. Beautiful takedown at the, at the start of the third round by Jakko Honkasalo. Honkasalo definitely had more takedowns here, I think. I didn't see Aspergren score a single takedown of that type. Except on... Except this yeah. one, yeah, but like, a, I mean, the charging type. Yeah, the power double yeah, yeah, type, yeah. 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 Well, let's go to the official word.
the decision for this match. How did the judges score? We're going to find out in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we have the judges' decision. We are by unanimous decision. Yako Hongasalo! Unanimous decision, there you have it. Yako Hongasalo. Well fought. Battle of the big men. This was the heavyweight fight tonight. Yeah, you could say it. Yeah. There are not that many big guys in the in this small country of ours, so it's nice to see some big man action. Let's get a word with the winner. Jaakko onneksi olkoon, hieno voitto. Kiitos. En ole kovin yllättynyt, mutta kiva voitto. Sä olit mukana tuossa kulmamiehenä helmikuun keitsissä ja sanoit silloin tähän mikrofoniin, että seuraava keitsijoittelu sulla ja ketä vastaan tahansa. Ja nyt pääsit ottelemaan tässä, että miltä se tuntui? No tarkoitus oli ottaa ammattilaismatsi. Piti Norjasta tulla vastustaja, mutta tota, koronan takia ei päässyt tänne. Ja olosuhteiden pakosta otin sitten vielä yhden. Amatöörimatsi ja tota, tää oli niinku viimeinen amatöörimatsi ja seuraava matsi on ammattilasmatsi, mut tää oli kiva. Oma siinä oli vaikea tulkita, että kuinka paljon sulla oli energiaa jäljellä tossa ottelun aikana. Oliko paljon vielä kaasua jäljellä tankissa? No ihan vitusti. Toivottavasti nähdään sekin sitten vielä seuraavassa eiköhän, matsissa. Eiköhän. Kiitoksia, onneksi olkoon. Jaakko Honkasalo. He said that he had a lot of gas left in the tank here, and so it seems to be also, and that uh, this was supposed to be his, uh, his opponent tonight was supposed to be from Norway, and he could not make it. Therefore, this is uh, this was the amateur fight tonight. Next, uh, his next fight is going to be a pro fight. He said. So uh, very ambitious is Jakob Hongasalo.